A frequent question heard in development circles is, how can we make remittances a tool for development? Before considering that question, let's take a step back. Imagine a family. The mother and father have paying jobs. Every morning, they go to work and earn income. They bring the money home, and the family uses it to provide for their needs. Now imagine that the father's job is on the other side of a river near the family home. He crosses the river to get to his job, earns income, and brings the money home to the family. Has anything changed? No. Now imagine that the river is a national border. The father goes to his job, just as before, earns income, just as before, and sends it home to his family to provide for their needs. But now the income that the father brings home isn't called income. It's called a remittance. Has anything significant changed from the family's perspective? Probably not. The question, how can we make remittance as a tool for development, would more accurately be phrased, how can we make income a tool for development? Of course, no one asks that question because we don't need to do anything to make income a tool for development. It already is. If we think of remittances as income, there are much better questions we could ask, such as, how can migrants take home more of their income? And how does migration fit with other household investment options? To read more about migration as a strategy for household finance and better questions about migration, remittances, and development, click here.